All right, Mr. Seward here, and we are going to take a look at how to do this smart fasteners lesson that is right here. And uh, I'm not going to do the entire lesson. I'm just going to do the setup part of this for you and with you so that you know how to do it. So I am going to move myself up a little bit here, and then I'm going to hit configuring the smart fasteners. So with these smart fasteners, you have to first configure the software. We're going to open this lens mount assembly. Now, the way you go about doing that is you just click right there, and you're going to get this dialog box and just say yes to that. And then the lens mount will uh, appear on your screen. Now, what I'm going to tell you is, is that this is stored on our C drives on the computers, which are protected by um, the uh, software uh, deep freeze. So what we need to do is we need to uh, save this. And we're going to, need to go to the Save As button and select that. And then you're going to go find your H drive. And uh, I'm going to put this in my ECAD folder. And I'm going to leave the file name alone. And I'm just going to hit Save. This is so that when we do this work, if we have to end the class, and come back hopefully won't be a big problem uh, everything will be saved all right so the first thing that we need to do is we need to add in the uh, smart fasteners uh, ability so I'm going to go to uh, the SolidWorks button I didn't click on that but I'm just putting my cursor on these things and the first thing I need to do is go find tools and then in tools down here at the bottom, I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to find add-ins, and I'll select that. After I do that, I want to, to, it's going to default to this. I've been working with this, so it's not all set up for the defaults the way you'll look at it. But uh, you'll find two boxes here to check. One is called the Toolbox Library, and the other is Toolbox uh, SolidWorks Toolbox Utilities. Once you get that, you say OK. So that takes care of our first uh, well, number two here. Now, number three, go to Tools and Toolbox and Configure and select the whole wizard. So I go back up to my SolidWorks and Tools and, oops, I goofed. Tools. Ah. OK. Whoop, there, I got it that time. And what I'm going to look for here is what's called uh, the toolbox. And this is someplace up here near the top. Um, some of the fun of this is finding these things. Toolbox. Come on. All right. Well, I'm going to pause and... When I find it, I'll come back. So I found out what I was missing. So when I go to SolidWorks and then put my cursor on Tools and then pull it down in here, um, all of this list isn't showing. So I have to actually uh, use this upper arrow here. Now here is Toolbox. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Configure. And this is... Um, where we're going to do uh, some of our setup work here. So I'm going to click on Whole Wizard. All right. And uh, then it's going to tell me that I'm going to expand the Wizard Standards Tree to display ANSI metric counter bore. So if your tree comes up looking like this, just click that. And then I have ANSI metric counter bore. And I'm just going to click on that. And uh, I'm going to select hex bolt. So actually, I have to click on um, ANSI metric, which I'm in, and then counter bore holes. That's the one I want to select right there. Now, once I get that picked, then I'm going to go and choose the ANSI or the hex bolt ANSI. B18.2.3.5M, and I'll select that. And uh, number five here is reassign 
Okay. And then you're going to get this list looks like this. <laughs> I have to undo everything I did earlier. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select ANSI metric, bolts and screws. Then I need the uh, hex head right here. So the little arrow next to that. And then once I get that, then I can click on the heavy bolt, heavy bolt right there. And um, that's what I need to do there. Now, across the top here, the next step is number seven, which says to click five. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. And this is going to uh, set up my smart fasteners. Uh, so it says on the smart fasteners page for fastener to use with whole wizard holes, uh, browse the ellipses icon. That's what that icon is with the three dots. And I'm going to click on that. And you want to expand the inch bolts and screws, countersunk head, and select countersunk elevator bolt. So ANSI inch, bolts and screws, countersunk head, and then you'll find countersunk elevator bolt, and you just click on that. And uh, then it tells us uh, that we can unselect that. So I just clicked off in the space here. Then it says under washer sizes, which is this uh, guy right up here, washer sizes. It tells me to select exact match, which I have that radio button turned on already. You won't. Um, and then it says under automatic fastener change, clear, change stack components when fastener size is changed. And that is this button right here. It says change stack components when fastener size is changed. You want to unselect that. Okay, so... That is how you get this lesson set up. Then you're going to go on to the next stage, which is inserting and editing smart fast.